it's amazing to be at a table of women who are innovators, patentees, who've actually brought their product to market. One of the things I would really love to hear first is just your stories on how you got involved in innovation and entrepreneurship. And do you, do you want to start? My story really began with my three young boys and our huge Lego collection. And it was just trying to come up with a better, easier, faster solution to clean them up, make them portable, and I needed washability. So, you know, my story really is, as everybody knows, necessity is the mother of invention. So with me, um, I live in a condo in Los Angeles, and I have to go through multiple doors, up an elevator, sometimes the stairs. And I had a breakup with a boyfriend, so I had to carry my own groceries, and I knew there had to be a better way. I worked through night iterations and came upon the winner, and then Click and Carry was born. Yeah, you know, my story all started because I like my sleep. I was a student <laughs> at, <laughs> yes. I was a student at MIT at the time, and I would hit the snooze button over and over again when I had to get up for morning classes. I would hear the alarm sound into my dream and not wake up because of it. And so I, I remember I woke up like an hour late one morning, just completely frustrated at myself for not getting up. And then I realized, you know, maybe this isn't my fault. Maybe the alarm clock isn't designed very well. Um, so I came up with this product called Clocky, which is this alarm clock that will jump off of your nightstand. Um, it can fall to the ground about three feet high and it will run around your room in random directions. Uh, so you're kind of forced to get out of bed in the morning and look for it. How did intellectual property play into that? I love having the pen. I love having a trademark and it's my proudest accomplishment in life. Oh my God, I love that. That's such a great story. I think the biggest thing for us was really getting the protection. And what did that look like? And how do you get that? How do you go about that? Who do you talk to? For us, it was finding the, the lawyer, right? How do you find a really good lawyer that you trust? So I realized I had something you know, fresh and innovative on my hands, um, and I really wanted to protect it right away. Our growth really came from exploring how else can this solve a problem? And with that came the sales. Product is king, and you have to look at who your market is and where are you gonna price it, and, and who, what platforms are you, where are you gonna sell it? Amazon has been a great uh, partner from day one for us. Right now, the number of US inventors, a percent of US inventors that are women on patents is between 12 to 13%. If people are out there that are thinking about innovating, that have ideas, they should know that there's just all of these resources. Then there's the Patent and Trademark Resource Centers. I. I've been helped a lot on the way up, so I want to give back. And when I speak to, to people, and especially women, I always tell them about all of these resources available to us. That's fantastic. And I also love your point about being an ambassador. I do believe that collaboration is a superpower of women. The, um, the desire to work with other people, we get more energy from it. Like Not only do we learn because we collaborate, but we get energy from that that really drives us. And so go to the centers we have across the country in libraries. Check out all the resources online. There's so many courses being offered right now at no charge. Educate yourself on trademarks and patents and copyrights and how to be an entrepreneur. Everybody's really positioned for success right now.